But there isn't like a political point or a, a point like that that you've kind of shifted on over the years? Well, uh, I, I think that it takes a certain amount of intelligence to be able to do this and education mm -hmm. to be able to do this, to do a reversal of this kind. But the, the key phrase is here, it's not that they want this to be true. They need it yeah, to be true. Talk some more about what you mean by they need it to be true. Because well, if they need it to be true, then what you're doing is wrong, isn't it? Well, yeah. yeah, <laughs> yeah I mean, but, but the other aspect of it is this, Penn. If they have to say that they're wrong and they reverse their, their minds on it, they have to be essentially saying they think, and I, I don't think this is true, but they think they have to be saying, I'm really stupid. No, naive is not stupid. Right, naive and uninformed is not stupid. And also all. victim is not stupid. That's I mean, true. The thing I Very always true. compare this to is That's right. you know, people say how stupid do you have to be to believe in, uh, in, uh, in, in, the, in the psychic. And I always say, well, how hot do you have to be to be raped? You yeah. know, you, you, yeah. you had to be asking for it. Yeah, yeah. And we have a tendency uh, to blame the victim because if we can blame the victim, then we can say why it's not going to happen to us. Exactly. And I think that anyone... And maybe except you, but certainly me, can be duped. You know, can be duped oh, yeah. and duped badly. Oh, no, we can be duped. And you blame can. and you you must blame the perpetrator and not the victim. But when you say they need to believe this, you you have to explain that more. Because in one way of looking at it, if someone needs something like they need food or like they need water and you're coming in and trying to take that away from them, what you're doing is then wrong. So you can't mean need in the traditional sense. That's true. And, and another thing, too, I was talking with a colleague of mine quite some time ago, and I just popped up at this question. I thought, that's, that's a, a decent question to ask him. I said, uh, you know, uh, it was Andrew Harder, as a matter of mm -hmm. fact. Sure. And I, I said to Andrew, I said, Andrew, was there ever a point when you believed in all of this crapiola? And uh, that's a technical term. Sure, sure. Yeah. Yes. And uh, he said, he paused for a bit and he said, no. I don't think so. He said, I can't remember a time when I would have accepted any of this from the time I was a small kid. And I said, now, that's, that's really interesting to me because it's exactly the same answer I would give. I haven't a moment, Pan, that I can think of as a child or as an adult ever that I would have believed any of this sort of thing any more than I would have believed in Santa Claus because mm -hmm. that was totally illogical to me from the moment I first heard it. And I just it skipped right over it immediately and knew that it was a myth. I remember reading uh, Chariots of the Gods and believing the UFO stuff when I was about 10 or 11. I read that book and yeah. believed it. I was totally into the Carlos Castaneda stuff. I mean, I, I didn't really believe it, but I, I really wanted it to be true. Mm -hmm. You know, you know that, that's another point. I don't have any need or want. The thing people say, do you want it to be true or not? I, I don't care. All I want to know is, is it true? Yes or no? I want to know what the truth is, and uh, I have no fear of the answer. Mm -hmm. Someone might come along, Pat. You know that. Mm -hmm. Someone might come along who has this mysterious power. I don't think it's going to happen, mm -hmm. but someone might come along. If that's true and they can prove it, I would simply sigh and say, damn, all this time. I've been spinning my wheels. There was such a thing. Wow. And I'd give them a million dollars at the same time. <laughs> and then go hang with them. Because <laughs> <laughs> they were rich. Yeah. Dinner's on you. Yeah, Dinner's I better hang you. with let's them. Go out, let's, yeah. go out, let's go out and celebrate. You know, that's that's really interesting that you never had. Did you have, were you, were you religious as a kid? No, never religious. Never religious? Not your not parents at weren't at all? Not at all. Yeah, because I went through, I went to church. You know, right. I, I was baptized. I'm the, you know, uh, first Congo, you know, first congregational church of right. Greenfield, Mass. And I was a believer in, um, I think, all sorts of stuff, probably. Probably up until I was uh, 16, 17, around there. Well, you know, so, my mom went to Catholic school, and that beat it out of her. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> a lot of people who are atheists went to Catholic school. Yeah. Well, you know, I, I have a good friend whose name I guess I better not say. I have a very good friend who considered seriously, and he, he claims he wasn't kidding, sending – he's an atheist – sending his daughter to Catholic school because he thought that, that they made the best atheists. <laughs> and he thought that he thought that she should be sent there and see that whole other side, so she'd have that arg those arguments for the rest of her life, all being able to be taken care of. So, uh, uh, our guest today is James Randi. Uh, you should uh, check out uh, the website if there's a, if there's a website that can uh, can give you a huge amount of information about a whole subculture very very quickly. It's Randi R A N D I dot org. 
O-R-G, the James Randi Educational Foundation. And if you would like any of the stuff uh, Penn and Teller do or uh, any of the stuff that we do on our Showtime show, Bulls Hit, it all starts with Randy, so go check it out. And uh, next year, you're going to be doing another TAM, The Amazing Meeting? Oh, you bet. Yeah. They get bigger and bigger and bigger. Well, was it over 800 people this year? It's going to be 800 <laughs> Holy and perhaps moly. a little more. Okay. <laughs> when, all, when all the counts are in. This is uh, Penn Gillette, Michael Godot, and my hero, James Randy.